At some point, we've all looked to the stars and dreamed of exploring the galaxy. But for decades, only the very best had the chance to explore the unexplored. Yet now, space tourism is getting underway. Instead of holidaying on a cruise liner, we can see the void above. But it'll cost an absolute fortune. Today, we're going to examine an upcoming mission involving SpaceX International Space Station. We'll explore how this venture came to be and the cost behind it. We'll even look at some other companies offering the opportunity to float about in space. So let's get started. Back in 2019, NASA announced plans for 2020 to allow tourists to travel to the International Space Station. They stated that each mission will be restricted to two flights per year, while each stay could last up to 30 days. Potentially, the ISS could have a dozen tourist missions every year. This decision was to help finance the station's yearly operating costs, which can amount to between $3 billion to £4 billion. NASA stated that they would charge each person $35,000 per night. This is for the basics, such as water, food, and so on. Extras such as Wi-Fi and heavy baggage will cost more. For one person to get the basic cost for 30 days, it will amount to $1.05 million. And that's not taking into account the cost of the rocket to the ISS. Beyond tourists, this possibility also opens up the chance of more scientists testing their theories above the Earth, as then they won't be restricted to NASA's schedule and rules. There were even talks that Tom Cruise could be looking to film up in the ISS. With the announcement, a number of private space companies acting like travel agents began planning packages to the ISS such as Elon Musk's SpaceX teaming up with Bigelow Airspace. SpaceX were going to provide their converted rocket, the Crew Dragon capsule. The 26.7-foot tall capsule is touted as a reusable spacecraft. The ship has space for seven crew altogether and so far has visited the ISS 23 times. The Crew Dragon's biggest selling point is the Launch Escape System, also known as the LES. If the ship encounters a problem, the LES has eight Super Draco engines that each provide 16 thousand pounds of force. Using that power, the LES separates the Dragon from its rocket as quickly as possible to protect the crew. At the time, four seats were available for the public for this trip, but not just anyone can get on board. After all, it would have cost 52 million bucks. With that, the trip would have taken up to a month. Bigelow bought four trips from SpaceX and claimed that interest was really high. However, only a few months later, this mission was canceled. Bigelow ended up letting all of their staff go in March 2020. They stated the reason was due to global events and the company would hire their staff back when everything restarted. Bigelow isn't the only company that has worked with SpaceX to send the public into space. In 2020, Axiom Space jumped on board. This mission would also have a four-person crew. One of the seats would be led by a company-trained astronaut. Along with making sure the other three passengers are okay during the visit, they also have to make sure they don't interfere with the work the six astronauts are undertaking on the ISS. After launching, it would take up to two days for the ship to get to the ISS. Once docked, the crew would spend 10 days aboard the station, then making a two-day trip back to Earth, giving this crew a two-week vacation. However, the crew would also need to undergo health tests and experience 15 weeks of training in order to boldly go where no man has gone before. The cost of one of the seats was reported to be $55 million, and now all of the seats are taken. The mission, called Axiom-1, will be led by Michael Lopez Algria, a veteran NASA astronaut now with Axiom. The pilot is American Larry Connors, the head of the real estate investment company, the Connor Group. At 71 years of age, he'll be the second oldest person to venture into space. And other buyers include Canadian businessman Mark Pathy, an Israeli former fighter pilot turned businessman Aitan Stibe. This mission is planned to launch in early 2022. For decades, the idea of space tourism was slowly and surely becoming a realistic venture. By 2001, the Russian Federal Space Agency, also known as Roscosmos, was looking to offset some of the operating costs to their space station, Mir. After all, it was believed the station cost $4.2 billion over its lifetime back in the same year. So with that in mind, they offered the chance for someone to become the first paying a space tourist. In the end, Dennis Tito was selected. He had dreamed of this chance for years. The then 60-year-old reportedly spent $20 million for the privilege, which is nearly $30 million today. However, it was announced that Mir was being scrapped before Tito was set to make the trip. Roscosmos, along with aerospace company Space Adventures, offered Tito the opportunity to get on their Suez TM-32 during a supply run to the ISS. Along with two experienced Russian astronauts, Tito ended up spending eight days on the station. 
As for the future of space tourism, it's been estimated to become a $3 billion industry over the next 10 years. We mentioned space adventures, so let's talk about them. The commercial spaceflight firm set about creating a special space travel for tourists in 2005. The mission, known as Deep Space Expedition Alpha, was planned to launch in 2015. It would have used a Russian Soyuz ship and sent the buyers around the far side of the moon and back to Earth again. In 2011, it was reported that the two seats available were sold, one of which for an eye-watering $150 million. In 2020, it was announced that Space Adventures were going to work with SpaceX. The mission will have the passengers travel around the Earth's orbit higher than ever before. It will be two or three times higher than the position of the ISS. The private mission plans to beat the record held by the Gemini 11 back in 1966. During that time, the spacecraft managed to reach 853 miles into Earth's orbit. The Space Adventures project will allow the passengers to be in space for five days before it falls safely back into the ocean. Also, the ship will be flown autonomously with help from Mission Control. The available seats for four people are expected to cost $55 million each, and the launch in Florida is believed to happen late 2021 or early 2022. Another company making their mark in the space tourism industry is Virgin Galactic. The company founded by Richard Branson has aspirations of one day having space flights with the amount of passengers that a commercial airplane can hold. As such, they have tickets for travelers within the Spaceship 2 program, more specifically the VSS Unity. This space plane is set to travel around 62 miles up into the Earth's atmosphere. This low orbit distance classifies those on board as astronauts, according to NASA. A number of celebrities, including Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, Lady Gaga, and more have all reportedly purchased tickets. The 90-minute trip will currently set you back $250,000. Branson has stated that he hopes the price will fall to $40,000 over the next 10 years. During 2014, it was reported that the program had received around $80 million in bookings. Some of the ticket holders have already been waiting for over a decade, as Branson originally believed the orbital spaceflight would be ready in 2009. Ooh, a bit behind schedule. However, the mission has seen a number of delays, some of which have been devastating. It's now expected that Virgin will begin flights this year at the earliest. Here's our final fact finish. This year, the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope is set to take place. After over a decade of delays, this device is going to replace the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been active since 1990. The Webb Telescope is able to see in optical, ultraviolet, and infrared wavelengths. This project is said to have amounted to $10 billion so far. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you next time right here on The Richest.